humans will race anything that moves, and that includes animals. These are some of the weirdest races that include big animals. I don't know what it is about speed in humans, but we can never stop trying to go faster and use anything that will make it happen. Please help me out and like this video as it makes a huge difference. Also subscribe and let me know what type of animal should humans race next. Let's just get started. Even the biggest land animal has been put on the racetrack. These animals are so big that it requires two jockeys to be able to control it. You have the directional guy at the front and then you have the guy making the elephant go faster in the back. These races start on land, but they cross rivers and go all over types of terrains. At this festival in Vietnam, they even play a soccer game which shows the amount of training that goes into teaching the elephants all of these things that are in the end pretty useless. Ostriches are huge flightless birds and they mostly are native to Africa. Their top end speed is insane at 45 miles an hour and whenever you have an animal that is fast and large enough, you know that there will be a human who thinks, hey, why not get on it and race it? <laughs> the jockeys here basically only wear helmets as protection and once they are sent off, they grab onto the wings and hold on for dear life. It's almost unimaginable that those legs can hold up a human being on their backs, but they can still run at full speed. Ostriches, crazily enough, can outrun a horse in an endurance race, and when the guys got too scared to ride on their back, they came up with a carriage racing, where they attach a small carriage and rode back there. And they're off. Cats don't zig from between horses for the lead. Where's Dorinda on the inside? And Bird here, erratic on the outside. Cats don't zig. Is that and how do you get the birds to stop? Well, you don't. You kind of just jump off when you're on their backs and you detach the carriage. And sometimes you go crashing down with it. These birds can be really dangerous. So you have to hope that they're in a good mood that day. So goats are on the smaller side, so you can't really ride them in a race. But you know what you can do? You can put a carriage on them and let them go. And number five, six, straight into the fence. Number one, look at that, straight down the line, I think. It there is absolutely no control on these goats. There's no reins, no track, no anything. If anything, it's more like an amusement park ride. You get on and the goat just runs, trying to get away from you. They'll even run straight into a fence, and you have to physically jump off to stop them before they take you with them. It looks like the craziest ride you'll ever be on, since you can't do anything to direct it. I always thought the camels were pretty slow creatures, but it turns out that they can burn rubber at 40 miles an hour. These races are particularly popular in Arabia. In the biggest race of them all, you can earn a prize of $1 million. Scientific breeding and state-of-the-art training have turned these camels into elite racing machines. Early on, they used to use children as jockeys, but obviously that has gone the way of many other cruel traditions and it is now banned. They now race the camels with robots that whip the camels to their top speeds while the trainers drive beside the track speaking into a radio that transmits right to the robot on the back of the camel, giving the camel instructions. As opposed to horse racing, these races are pretty long and can go up to 6 miles long. Is in the driving seat. Literally. And of course, since there is big money involved, all the camels are tested for performance enhancing drugs, and all the camels are also microchipped. Camels are probably the weirdest looking animals when they are running. They look kind of scary to be honest. Imagine if that thing was chasing you. Whenever you have adults racing horses, you will have kids that look up to them and they will want to race as well. And that's how you get Shetland Pony Racing. In third, a little break back to Lil Rosendale Edgar who is in fourth. And they're a little way on from the others racing next. Not to be rude or anything, but these kids look to be about the size of an actual horse riding jockey. But I guess you have to protect the kids so you can't put them on a full size racehorse. Besides the little legs. And the bigger bodies. These look just like real horse races, just much slower and a lot cuter. You know how you would make the 100 meter dash even more entertaining? Well, you can add a goat to it. Maybe if the assembly or whoever come forward and assist goat racing because basically right now we are doing it for the love of the sport. 
and there's no benefits for goat. This race requires that you have a fast human runner, then a fast goat, and most importantly, a well-trained goat who will run in a straight line. This type of racing is a year-round struggle, becoming one with the goat. You have to treat it nice all the time so it doesn't hit you or fear you so it doesn't run any random direction. It's probably more involved than a horse riding jockey. Water Buffalo Racing started in Thailand to celebrate the beginning of the rice harvest season. At first, they just rode their own working buffaloes, but this event has gone so big that they breed the buffaloes specifically in order for them to have the fastest one. They have the racing where they get on the back of the 1,765 pound animal and just go full speed. Buffaloes are rarely used for work anymore as they have moved on to machinery. But another type of this race is where they attach the plow to two buffaloes and race it down the 100 meter racetrack. <laughs> As you can see, the jockeys ride the buffaloes as far back as possible in order for them to be able to jump off at any time and escape any possible angry buffalo aggression. There are many injuries during the races and the prize money is measly, but the tradition remains and they just use the money available to drink after the race and get drunk. If you have an animal that looks like a racehorse, but just at a smaller scale, you of course will try to race it as well. That's how zebra racing got added to some extreme races in America. These animals have yet to be fully domesticated, and thus their training is extremely difficult. And on race day, you basically have zebras trying to buck off their riders the entire way down the racetrack. Oh, ho. they're off and running. And on the outside, Guster took off like a shot. We got a rider down already. And Guster on the outside is in front and goes on redemption. The zebras also don't really hit any directions and just kind of go wherever they want to go and the jockey is just on there for the ride. These races are extremely entertaining as you just don't know what you will be getting. I also have that need for speed so I get on fast cars, but I am way too much of a coward to ride an animal at top speed. I remember my dad trying to teach me how to ride a horse and yelling, man the yelling that was involved it's still scarring to this day. The most I ever did was make the horse trot because beyond that it was way too scary. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.